This video is to go over some of the rules and things you need to remember to use capitalization correctly. First, there are some obvious ones. You always capitalize the first word of a sentence, first word of a line of traditional poetry, and the first word of a quotation when it is a sentence. So uh, if you were to, to quote part of a sentence, a lot of times you'll see the word that in front of uh, partial quotations. If you, so, if you say that John said that, uh, and then you quote John, then you don't capitalize. But if you said John said, and then had the whole sentence that John said, you would capitalize that first word. Uh, also days, months, and holidays, you'll notice that seasons is not listed. You don't capitalize seasons. Gods and religions are always capitalized. Govern, governing bodies, agencies, organizations, and political parties are always capitalized. Proper nouns and adjectives, so somebody's name, first name, and last name, but also any adjectives that are proper, so that means adjectives made out of proper nouns. You want to think about names. For example, Mexico is the name of a country, so Mexico would be capitalized, but also Mexican. And Shakespeare is a name, so Shakespearean as an adjective would also be capitalized. Then there are some rare ones. If you ever have personification, mostly in poetry, that personification would be capitalized. So in John Milton's lines, Earth felt the wound and nature from her seat, sighing through all her works, gave signs of woe. Uh, it's treating nature as if nature is a person who can sigh and because it's personified, nature has to be capitalized. Also, historical periods and events. Uh, again, you're thinking about names. The name of the historical period is the Stone Age, so it's capitalized. And the name of the battle is Wounded Knee, so it is capitalized. The tricky ones uh, are listed here. There's four tricky ones. Common nouns used as names when they are not preceded by possessive pronouns. That's a lot of grammar, but what does that mean? Go to bed mom. Mom is a common noun, and there's no possessive pronoun in front of it. But for B, her mother is nice. Because the word her is in front of mother, you're not using it as a name. You're just using it as a regular common noun, not changing a common noun into a name, so it's not capitalized. And then the first word of titles and everything else except prepositions, conjunctions, and articles. So the, the, the titles, that's probably an obvious thing that titles are capitalized, but what's a little bit tricky is what's not capitalized. And those are prepositions, conjunctions, and articles. Articles are a, an, and the. So you see uh, heart of darkness, the of is not capitalized, the shallows, what the internet is doing to our brains, the the, second the, and the two are not capitalized. Points uh, on a compass, number three, when they refer to a specific region, not a direction. So again, this is kind of like number one, where sometimes the word is capitalized, but sometimes not. We vacationed in the south. That's referring to a specific region, so we capitalize it. But we had to drive south is referring to a direction that the car was moving, not a specific region, so it is not capitalized. And the last tricky one is that names of specific courses are capitalized, and so are any courses derived from proper nouns, but not subject areas. So I still need to take history classes, uh, still need to take history classes and three English classes. History is not capitalized because it is not a specific course, and it's not capitalized because it doesn't come from a proper noun. English, however, comes from England, which is the name of a country, so English classes. English is always capitalized. Then, um, similar to history, chemistry would not be capitalized, but for B, for my science requirement, I'll take Chemistry 101. Chemistry 101 is a specific course, so that is the name of the course, and it is capitalized as a proper noun. I hope this helps you understand capitalization.